Oh my goodness. It is snowing in Seattle and it's, look at how deep it is. It's like, it's at least six inches deep. Wow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful in Seattle right now. This snow, it feels so, it's like so clearing right now and magical. Hello, whoever you are that just jumped in. I am, what I feel in this snow is like, it's been a long time actually. Like this is the first time it snowed in Seattle this year. It was a really warm winter, but this snow is just, oh my God, the feeling of being in it, the silence of it, the, the glow of, you know, how bright reality gets when the sky is, is, is white and glowy and the, and the, you know, the surface of the planet is full of, of sweet crystalline magic like this. The thing about snow that I'm feeling is that it's an amazing conduit. It's an amazing conduit for energy because I mean, these crystal structures, I have to say, okay. Okay. Like, oh my gosh, bless you. The thing about snow, like water in general is already this brilliant element you know holds these bonds for eternities like billions of years each of these h2o molecules you know these little triangles of connection um i already feel such a deep relationship to water but the snow hey everyone hi hello everyone that's here bless you good to see you good to feel you and yeah i the snow is such a great i what i feel in meditation here is like the energy that is held can move through the conduit of these crystals in the same way like cold plunging being in water feels like a direct electromagnetic connection to the planet um through its physical essence its spiritual essence water right those of you that are feeling the 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 deep connective energy of water the sweet feminine energy of water like what an incredible thing when it's in this crystal form like if we could zoom in p.s if you get a chance buy yourself on amazon like a 12 dollar jeweler's loop loop a l-o-u-p-e because it lets you zoom in like 30x on anything which is so fun like you there's micro worlds everywhere you go even in your carpet but with snow it's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level looking at snow. I mean, like the crystals are so ornate and there's like a rainbow refracting through it. Um, it's so beautiful. And to be in the snow right now, like, and see this cozy home all, you know, everybody's just like out playing in the snow now. I'll take a little walk around. I've been working on these trails back here so much. It's crazy to see them like completely covered in the forest here. Um, wow, look at this forest. Look at this magical forest. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Feels so good. Um, I hope you get out in the snow today if you're in the Northwest, because this is, I mean, I can't imagine anyone not doing it on this Saturday. What a magical day. Uh, yeah, but it feels like these prayers are moving through, like, by actually imbuing that, uh, that prayer into the falling snow, um, that it's a conduit, like a telecommunications network almost for vibration and they, they can resonate. So I'm feeling a really a deep resonance with like what I've been talking about, which is like grid work or while meditating, being connected to the physical body and all the the physical like trees air that was breathed in and out like internal external softness all these little birds the year oh it just disconnected i don't know if it's still working but look at the icicles on the year they're like real icicles faith you eating icicles okay nobody's in the year um Wait, okay, let's see. I keep hearing people playing in the front. I'm just gonna take a...
What's crazy is the compost bin. I bet you, I've been learning about compost. These things get up to like a hundred something degrees, even when it's snowing outside. Like, check this out. Okay, look, check this. This is the compost. We're at one, 100, almost 140 degrees down in there. Wow, 140 degrees. So one of the projects are, are, we've all decided to do as a, so these two houses, for those who don't know, we live in a, um, so Sarah has this house and this is my house and um, there's, 12 people between these houses, just awesome Jedi's, like awesome angels. And, uh, hey Mahina. Okay. Just doing what, like a flow state out here with the snow. This is amazing. I wanna say hi to community out there. Hey community. Hey. It's snowing. It's snowing. Yeah. It's so cool, the transmission of spiritual energy through snow. Hmm. Feeling that. What are you feeling? Well, like as these crystals, like these infinite crystals, they're able to resonate. Like they each have a resonant frequency, but it's different than water because it's like water's so fluid when it's raining, but snow. It's got crystalline energy. Crystalline energy. And it almost like by holding your own crystalline energy mm. can resonate with all of it to transmit. Yeah, I can appreciate that for sure. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. So, oh, what I was going to say about the compost, though. This is so rad, Soul Fam. Okay, what we're making, the plan is in the backyard to make a, uh, oh, I like what Maggie's saying. It's like structured cleansing contains and moves. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly how it feels. It's amazing, isn't it? I love that we're waking up in this time of like, you know, kind of like Avatar Airbender. We're just like connecting to the elements and not doubting it, but actually leaning into it and seeing what happens with, you know, experimenting with that uh, meditative energy and, and elemental connective energy. Um, and I keep taking tangents, but what I was going to say is, um, oh my God, look at this. It's beautiful bamboo. Um, what I was going to say is we're making a huge compost in the back. This thing's going to be really big. It's got a coil. We des we're finding other people on YouTube that are doing this, but it's so cool. A hot tub and a water heating system, which is compost heated. Because like I just showed you, this compost right now is sitting at, I just wouldn't look at that temperature gauge. It's 140 degrees in there. So even in the ice winter like this, it stays warm inside of a compost, like really warm. So then the idea started popping, like Sarah and I were talking about this the other day in the hot tub that we were in and we're like, oh my God, what if we create a hot tub in the backyard that just, we run a coil through it, it through the center of the giant compost. So it's staying at like a hot temperature. I mean, you put your hand in there, it's hot. Um, yeah, Maggie, just wondering how you, uh, seeing your comment. Yeah, just wondering how you could use that heat. Yeah, you could heat a whole house with this. It's, and here's the crazy part. As I jump into this, I'm like, why haven't we been doing this all along? With a compost, if you like set it up properly, and Sarah's done a lot of research on this, and it's amazing. It's, you, you can set a compost with like horse manure, or you can just use this stuff in your house. Like this is just all of the like uh, leftover pieces of like vegetables and stuff that we we contribute to this space. And it, um, while it's creating great soil for the the uh, garden project we want to do out here, um, it also uh, can create a ton of heat. And one pile of compost will last like twelve to eighteen months. You don't even have to keep messing with it. Like. You just set like a giant compost, run a coil that can contain the water. You can use polyurethane tubes or a copper, but that's more expensive, but much more conductive. Uh, run that right into a circulating system. Uh, we're gonna try to just heat a hot tub, like continuously with compost. And I'm so stoked about it. It's gonna be really rad. Um, but that could be extended to an entire like heating system for, for a whole house. I mean. 
that water gets hot and then you wind up with all this great soil um yeah maggie we're documenting the process i've been I, i'm so excited about it because it just seems like one of these obvious things we looked on youtube we're like someone has to be doing this and we found some really good some some people just kind of ad hoc doing it right like big uh you, know, you put hay over the top so it's like insulated and you just put, make a big circle and fill it and then for 12 18 months winter ice whatever it is it'll be 130 140 degrees in there yeah theoni that's an epic compost no and it's not stinky you'd think it'd be stinky you can't smell any of it and that that's if you're doing it wrong we did like i have to say i'm not like sarah's the compost queen like she's really into this and so you, she did a lot of research and if you put hay over the top like you insulate it and um so it's not just like exposed compost at the top sawdust hay whatever you just layer it on the top and then leave it and it's going to just stay hot in there and it's going to take a long time uh to digest but and we've been doing it with the goal of creating like soil because we're i don't know if you can see but this is a greenhouse that's going to extend into this area here this is all like front facing hillside that will be planted we, anyway we have a lot of gardening projects that are like underway for this spring also here and then this is all swales as you can probably tell those little lumps um so that's all going to be a garden but um yeah the hay is a crucial thing maggie it, it, it the hay allows it to um the <laughs> it's a little slidey man look at the snow oh, so freaking pretty yeah Anyway, I'm so stoked about compost heating systems, geothermal heat. I mean, you can generate power from geothermal too. Who's to say we can't generate the power and water heating needs of an entire house with like a compost that from our research, I think it's going to have to be like probably 10 by 10 feet and, you know, like three, four, five feet high filled and we'll probably do a, a big dump of like horse manure on the first layer you won't smell it because it'll be in deep and then layer it over with you can use mulch you can literally use a like uh what we did is use a really cool site called chip drop and the arborists will take their like on you know the all the chips from trees and that you just put a big pile in it can be cedar or whatever it's not going to smell bad if your purpose is not to compost like your used um food and everything but just to generate a big pile that's going to be hot for like 18 months straight you can literally just get mulch and um uh yeah and and use it it's it's incredibly effective i i've i'm literally shocked I, this is like i got my mind blown as like someone that's just a general like you know curious scientist in the world I can't believe I hadn't stumbled on the amount of heat that is generated from composting. I was just like, when Sarah told me it stays hot in there and it's like, oh, you know, I was thinking, right, like 70 degrees or something. And then I find out it's like staying at a steady 130, 140, like, and it's snowing out. Uh, the only is asking, did you uh, build this compost bin? So we have this compost bin and it's rocking, but now we started last night, we got a big chip drop, which is just like, these are like arborists, like unused. Uh, it, normally they bring it to a dump site or whatever, but they're like, cool, we can dump it with you and not pay money. Like, we're like, yeah, this is under this snow here is the remainder. See, this is all chips. And what's gnarly right now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to put my hand in here. <laughs> What's crazy is it's warm inside this thing right now. Uh, oh, my phone's freaking out. Uh, it's so neat, right? The only I, I see what you're writing. It's super cool. And I hope everyone does this, like, you know, creates that has the space for it. A mega compost. I think we're going to, we want to perfect this in this, uh, just as a DIY home project, like, uh, to make 
a heating system like this. And I, of course, like that, like old entrepreneur, you know, tech person in me is like, oh my gosh, what if we replicate this and make this like super easily adoptable by tons and tons of people? So it's just like done right. And I, I had all my questions. I'm like, yeah, but um, don't you have to turn the the contents of this compost like probably once every two months? And Sarah and our research is like, no, actually you can leave it be for long periods of time. And then I was thinking about the coil that runs through it. Will it get all like, how do you make it resilient? So you can like pull it in, like put it in and take it out. Cause the coil runs through the compost, the water flows through that. And I think about it, everything around that coil is at 140 degrees. So yeah, that water is going to go in lukewarm or cold from your house water system, let's say whatever, or it can just be a circulating system with a hot tub, you know, whatever. Um, we're going to make a hot tub that's compost powered for sure. Uh, that project is all like schemaed out. Um, but on top of that, I'm, I'm kind of just like, why don't, what if we just like replace the boiler system in this house and actually spec this out to be the size required to flow right into our hot water system. Anyway, also I think about like, you know, that part of my brain that productizes things and like, how do you make this really accessible to like most people in their homes? So it's just like, almost like an appliance version of a composting system. But that's me jumping way too many steps ahead. And you got to just like learn by doing and see what you don't know. And, and like, so right for now, we're just, we're building a, a ad hoc large compost and like doing a, a spiral in the base. And I think kind of like going up, you want to get into the core of the composting. That's where all the heat is, is right in the middle. So I've just been trying to mind map, like what's the best approach to this? And uh, anyway, I found a few YouTube videos of like people just like, you know, kind of like out in the country doing stuff like this, but I'm really down to get into it. And then, anyway, if anyone else out there is working on cool compost pro projects, would love to hear about it. Um, but isn't this neat? You could, he the, the heat generate is huge. Anyway, this is a huge tangent from just coming out here to appreciate the snow and the spiritual energy that uh, as a conduit that it has, which is where this video started off. I just want to appreciate this incredible snow day. There's like six inches I kind of just got into because of the cold like this composting that's so gnarly because it's like hot right now even though it's this cold it's just like how insane is that right it's crazy it's like wait let's see if you can see this yeah check that out I know oh, I should flip it around so it's like easier to read it That is, can you read those numbers? 120 degrees and dropping because I pulled it out. But, stick it back in. Anyway, I guess the outcome of this video is that compost and heat are, are really neat and doing it sustainably, super rad you know, learn more about it, but the snow is beautiful. I hope you're all out in the snow, resonating your truest heart, Pr just being in prayer or meditation or what whatever it is. And just like really dropping into the stillness that this is because it's so special. This element is so special. So, so special. Okay. Blessing soul fam. This has been a long video. I sometimes, you know, go on and on a little bit and Thank you for, you know, I really respect anyone who's taken the time to, to be in connection here. This is a sacred container. Bless you. Hi. Miss everybody. Uh, been deep in inner work myself over this last several weeks and uh, doing a lot of, you know, a lot of transformation. And I'm sure all of us are. Bless you in your transformation process. All this learning how to be in real right relationship with yourself and with your environment and with others. And uh, yeah, just feeling the warmth of, of spirit work. And I know all of us together are really like calling in a beautiful, like future, a beautiful timeline in which this world uh, is inspired by the magic of possibility, a beautiful possibility and really rises to meet that. 
every being. Um, and I know I got a lot. I, I'm, I'm going through a lot of inner work myself and humbled to that. I've been humbled many times in this. And also just so grateful, feeling so good to be alive, so grateful to be alive and so grateful for soul family like you, like all of us, the people that I live with in this magical, magical home. It's been so magical here. Woo. And uh, wherever you are, I hope you're spreading magical energy, warm spirit energy to the people in your life. Hey. Yeah, there's a lot of little projects happening. Building things. Hello? Who? Who? Sure. Huh? What? Oh, just... Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, just making a live flow, checking in. Oh, great. I'm going yeah. to shut this back. Do your thing. Down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Diego's... Uh, yeah, there's some incredible people right now that have... Just angels that have showed up in this uh, time to... That was a nice balance move right there. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Almost fell down the stairs and dropped the stairs. A lot of music creation has been happening. The music zone. Um, I haven't done an update in a little bit, but maybe now is not the exact time. Anyway, just sending love to all of you where you are. You're in exactly the right place at the right time. And um, if you are in Seattle, get out in the snow and say some prayers without snow. I, yeah, invite that. Um, and wherever you are in the country or in the warmth or Hawaii or, where, you know, God, we're all holding it down right now. I know that. <sighs> all right, blessings. Blessings, old friend.